Imagine a powerful king, the ruler of a vast empire, suddenly losing his mind and living among wild animals, eating grass and roaming the wilderness. Sounds like something out of a fairy tale, right? But this is no fictional tale. This is the story of King Nebuchadnezzar, a real historical figure who ruled the mighty Babylonian Empire in the 6th century BC. His reign was one of power and prosperity, but it also ended in a bizarre and unforgettable way. In this video, we'll unravel the mystery of Nebuchadnezzar's transformation. We'll delve into the events that led to his downfall, explore the possible interpretations of his animal form, and discover the moral lessons we can learn from his story. Before we embark on this journey, let's rewind and get to know the great king himself. Nebuchadnezzar wasn't just any ruler. He was a military genius who expanded his empire, a skilled administrator who brought wealth and stability to his people, and a prolific builder who adorned Babylon with magnificent architecture. His name still echoes through history as a symbol of greatness. But even the most powerful figures are not immune to human flaws. And it was Nebuchadnezzar's own hubris, his inflated sense of pride, that ultimately led him down a dark path. So, buckle up and get ready to explore the fascinating story of a king who lost his kingdom, his sanity, and even his humanity. We'll examine the events that triggered his downfall, delve into the religious and mythical interpretations of his transformation, and finally, ponder the timeless lessons about humility and the consequences of unchecked pride. This is more than just the story of one king. It's a journey into the depths of human nature, a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked power, and a testament to the transformative power of humility. Are you ready to unravel the mystery of the king who turned into an animal? Let's begin. Nebuchadnezzar was far from a weak ruler. He conquered lands, built awe-inspiring cities like the legendary Babylon, and showered his people with riches. His reign was a golden age, a testament to his intelligence, cunning, and leadership. He was the Lion of Mesopotamia, feared and respected in equal measure. But amidst his grandeur, a serpent of pride began to coil around his heart. He basked in the compliments of his court, believing himself a god among men. He forgot that even the tallest towers reach for the sky from the ground, not above it. The turning point came when Nebuchadnezzar dreamt of a colossal tree, reaching beyond the heavens, overshadowing everything in its path. He interpreted it as a symbol of his own eternal power, a testament to his godlike position. But alas, his pride clouded his vision. The dream, as we'll soon see, held a far more ominous message. This inflated sense of self eventually clashed with something far greater than any earthly power. He challenged the authority of the divine, attributing his accomplishments solely to his own might. He forgot the whispers of the wind, the sun's warm embrace, the very breath he drew, all gifts from a force beyond his control. And thus, the scales of fate tipped. His arrogance, the serpent that choked his soul, would soon lead to a transformation even more dramatic than any he could have imagined. Nebuchadnezzar's hubris didn't go unnoticed by the heavens. His dream about the towering tree, as interpreted by the prophet Daniel, wasn't a celebration of his power, but a stark warning. His kingdom, the mighty oak, would be stripped bare, his reign cut down, and he, the proud king, would be cast out to wander the wilderness like a beast. And so, the unthinkable happened. Nebuchadnezzar's mind unraveled, consumed by madness. He lost his throne, his sanity, and even his humanity. Some say he sprouted fur, grew claws like daggers, and grazed among wild animals, his royal robes replaced by the tattered cloak of the wilderness. Others believe his transformation was metaphorical, a descent into bestiality fueled by his own inner demons. Was he truly a man turned beast, or did his pride manifest as a beastly existence? The debate continues. Some point to the literal descriptions in the book of Daniel, while others find symbolism in his animalistic state. Perhaps he retained his human form yet lost his grasp on reason, becoming a primal creature driven by instinct. No matter the literal extent of his transformation, the message is clear. Stripped of his power and forced to exist on the fringes of society, 
Nebuchadnezzar was forced to confront the limitations of his humanity. He became a living reminder that even the grandest empires crumble, and the mightiest kings become prey to their own arrogance. But the story doesn't end there. After seven years of this animalistic existence, something remarkable happened. Nebuchadnezzar's sanity returned, along with a newfound humility. He recognized the divine hand in his downfall and acknowledged the true source of his power. He ascended back to his throne, not as a conquering lion, but as a wise and humbled leader. His transformation, whether literal or metaphorical, became a testament to the transformative power of humility and the potential for redemption even after the gravest fall. Nebuchadnezzar's story isn't just a dusty chapter in ancient history, it's a mirror held up to our own lives, reflecting the dangers of unchecked pride and the transformative power of humility. Let's peel back the layers of this ancient tale and discover the timeless lessons it whispers to us across centuries. Pride, like a seductive serpent, can slither into our hearts, whispering sweet lies of our own grandeur. We forget that every mountain rests on a base, every skyscraper reaches for the sky from the ground. Just like Nebuchadnezzar, we can become blinded by our successes, attributing them solely to our own brilliance and effort. But remember, the wind that fills the sails of your ship originates from a force beyond your control, the sun that warms your skin is a gift from a grander design. Ignoring this interconnectedness, this web of dependence, is the first step down the path of hubris. Humility, on the other hand, is the antidote to pride's poison. It's not about self-deprecation or groveling, but about acknowledging our limitations, recognizing the interconnectedness of life, and embracing the fact that we are all part of something far greater than ourselves. Nebuchadnezzar's transformation, whether literal or metaphorical, was a harsh, yet necessary, lesson in humility. It stripped him of his power, forced him to confront his vulnerability, and ultimately led him to a deeper understanding of the divine order. In his downfall, we see the seeds of redemption. His downfall wasn't an ending, but a turning point. His newfound humility allowed him to return to his throne not as a tyrant, but as a wise and just leader, forever marked by the transformative power of his wilderness experience. So, the next time you find pride whispering sweet nothings in your ear, remember the fall of the king who turned into an animal. Remember the transformative power of humility, the strength in acknowledging our place in the grand scheme of things. Let Nebuchadnezzar's cautionary tale echo within you, a guidepost on your own journey through life. If you enjoyed this exploration, please subscribe for more engaging narratives that unravel the secrets of our past. Your support ensures that we continue to bring you captivating tales from the annals of history. Don't forget to like this video to show your support, and until next time, keep seeking the wisdom hidden in the shadows of history.